All right, we're back with another lesson on our templates manager uh, using rocket themes. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the options under the features tab. And uh, if you happen to be working with a template that is uh, different than the one that we're featuring here, the lexicon template, things might be just a little bit different for you. In fact, they might even have better options because actually the lexicon template is rather old. It's probably a couple years old. And uh, as they continue to develop their product, some of the new templates offer new features that didn't show up in this particular version. But if you're like me and find some of the older templates still uh, very useful and attractive, uh, you may indeed uh, be working uh, with some of these more limited uh, features. Now, before we take a look at uh, these options under the Features tab, I just maybe want to point out a couple things from our previous tutorial, uh, our lesson on the Styles tab. Some things that I ran into as I continued to customize my site. So just a, a few things to take note of and to perhaps warn you about. It looks like there may be a little bug here, uh, even with the latest version, uh, Lexicon version 1.3 and using the latest Gantry 4. Uh, under style, I tried or attempted to change the background color here for the space under the logo. And uh, when I did that, I ran into problems that I could not rectify without actually reinstalling the whole template. So I would avoid trying to use this for now. Um, what can happen is that um, you know, lexicon template itself might be updated and there may be a few things that don't work properly with the current release of Gantry. And uh, so those types of bugs can show up from time to time. But uh, if you do want to change the color that's underneath the logo, we'll show you how to do that in a different way. So avoid using the color picker found in the templates manager for that particular element. A couple other things we noticed is that there's no way to change the color of the drop-down menu option in uh, the Templates Manager. You can go through all of these color options and not one of them will affect that. And so if you're not happy with the white there, and I'm not, uh, we'll have to show you how to change that uh, color in a different way. And let's see if there was anything else. We notice here that the logo that we inserted is not acting responsive. Ideally, when we uh, contract our website or slide this across to represent what it's going to look like on various screen sizes, everything should readjust itself, resize itself. And for the most part, this template does that. But it looks like we might have to dig a little bit deeper to see how we can get the logo itself to be responsive and to resize properly. We see that when it gets to the phone size, uh, that it does rearrange itself and the logo is fine. But um, there may be some ways that we haven't come across yet in this template, like sometimes in the advanced menu, those types of things can be addressed. We'll, we'll find out. And if we can't address them here, we'll have to maybe go on the forum at uh, Rocket Theme and discover how we can make our logo responsive. All right, with those little caveats in mind, let's uh, continue on with today's lesson under the Features tab. The first one is Social Buttons. And as we were mentioning earlier, some of the newer templates that come from Rocket Theme actually um, make this process a lot easier and actually provide some very nice social uh, media icons that you can use that kind of come with the theme. But in this older template, the Lexicon template, um, what it does is it connects into the Font Awesome icons that are uh, available and come with the theme itself. At least an older version of Font Awesome comes with that. And if you want to know, for example, how to add those icons, just hover over the uh, social buttons there and it gives you a little description of how to do that. As I worked with this, I uploaded the latest version of Font Awesome. And so the coding is a little bit different as you upgrade to the latest version. But if you take a look here under the social buttons, you'll see how you can assign a Font Awesome icon to your social media links. And uh, 
they give one example here is to just type in icon dash Twitter for the uh, Twitter icon. So here, instead of fa fa dash YouTube, you would just be typing in icon dash YouTube or icon dash Twitter. And if you want to know what each of the icons, how they're named, you can go to Font Awesome and uh, go to icons. And here you have a list of all of the names of the icons that are available. And so it's just a matter of typing in icon dash and then the name of the file to be able to display any of these uh, fonts. Now, uh, some of these fonts that are showing up here may be indeed part of the new release and may not be available in the older release that comes with the lexicon template. And uh, so as you try some of those social buttons, they may or may not uh, appear. But for the most part, you shouldn't have any trouble with these primary social media sharing uh, icons that uh, you would most likely be working with. So here's how it works is for each of the social media sharing icons that you want to appear on your site, you just type in the font awesome icon. And uh, while it's optional, you could also type in a text uh, that goes with that icon. And then you type in the link that you want uh, it to take you to when people click on that icon and th there's where you should be typing in the account, uh, the link to your client's YouTube account, for example, or Twitter account or Facebook account. And you can find this link just by going to your client account at Facebook, for example. So here is uh, the organization that I work for. This is their uh, site at Facebook. It'd just be a matter of going up to the top and uh, highlighting the URL, hit copy, and then go back to our templates manager and uh, type in the link for Facebook. And uh, so I'll just maybe fill this one out as well. And maybe add some, a text. And just let's maybe test this out. Let's save this and open up our site, go down to the bottom. And sure enough, it picked up the icon from Font Awesome and also the text that we entered. So now we have YouTube and Facebook. So that's how you can add your social buttons to your website. You can also choose where to put them using the position. And I know that this might seem a little bit confusing as to what this position is all about uh, if you're just starting out using Joomla and Rocket Theme. But this basically allows you to choose where on your website you want to place these. So for example, right now it's showing up under the co in the copyright. If we wanted to move that up to the footer or the bottom uh, position in our website, we could choose that, save, and see where this moves to. Right now, we see it right down here where the copyright would normally go. If we refresh our site now, let's see where that goes. We see it has moved up a little bit. And what that means is you can basically put those icons anywhere. If you want to have them way up in the header, you could do that. Let's try header F and save. See what happens when we refresh now. We see that they show up along with the menu. And that might not be the best option, but you, you get the idea of how you can place these practically anywhere on your website using this uh, positioning feature. Okay, so you get the idea there. Now, again, with any of these, if you're not quite sure what on earth they're referring to, like chart or coming soon page, just hover over the link and you'll see a little explanation to give you an idea of, of what these options will do for you. And uh, some of them you may not uh, necessarily need to add right away, but just uh, nice to know that they are available to add. Like for example, if at some point you want to add a link that people can click to be included in a feed burner method where every time you make an update to the site, they get notified, well, then you could add your feed burner account in here and people could sign up for that. Okay, now the date. Do you want to have the current date appear on your website. Well, some people like this, others it doesn't necessarily work the best for. If you know that most of your customers are coming from a certain time zone in the world, uh, it might be kind of an, a nice feature to add somewhere on your site is to have the current date. But if you know that you're getting visitors from all over the world, the date and the time appearing on your website can be a little bit confusing to uh, people living in different parts of the world as they come to view your site. 
font sizer, you could give people the option to increase the size of the font. If you have this on, people will be able to, you know, especially the elderly or people who might have uh, be sight impaired, would be able to increase the size of the font of your text very easily. It gives them the option to do that. The login panel, if you want to set up a, a way for people to uh, become a member of your site, here's an, uh, one way to do that. There are other ways in Joomla. There are options for pop-up module. Um, you could also do branding. If you uh, wanted to uh, maybe add your logo again and give a little more branding to your site, you can choose to add another logo here and again choose a position where you would like to see that. Copyright uh, is a good idea and let's turn that on. And by default it's showing up uh, a design by Rocket Theme. Well, we'll want to replace that with our own copyright. And we might want to open up something like uh, Word, for example, to grab um, the copyright symbol. Let's go over to insert and then click on symbol. And here we can uh, click on copyright and then just highlight that with your mouse, hit control C, and then we can come back uh, to that uh, copyright option and do a paste with a control V and then type in whatever text you want. Okay, and um, sometimes if your articles are quite long, you might want to turn on a to-top scroller. And what that means is that as people get down to the very bottom of your site, rather than having to take their mouse and go over to the sidebar and scroll all the way back up to the top to get back to the menu, they can just hit a little button at the bottom as they finish the article and be qu quickly taken back to the top. Uh, anything else we should point out here? Um, the Google Analytics, I usually leave this blank until I'm completely happy with the site and I'm ready to go live with the site. And then I'll register the site with Google by adding the website address to my Google Analytics account. And then once you add the site to Google Analytics, you'll be able to pick up a code from Google Analytics and you can insert it here. And this makes it very easy to connect with Google. And once you do fill in your code here, Google will be more likely to start um, analyzing your site, indexing your site, and uh, reading through the various text articles that you have placed on the site and start uh, ranking you in their Google search engines based on the articles that you have written. All right, so that should give you a good idea of, uh, oh, let's maybe just save this and see how it has affected our site. Let's save and go over here and refresh. Oh, we forgot to uh, reposition our icons here. But we see that we now have a back to top. We have our copyright down here. Oh, I was going to point out, you'll notice that uh, the, the sample data does come with some social sharing options as well. These are not controlled by our features options here, so don't let that confuse you. These, This little module here that Rocket Theme has provided in the sample data of this template uh, are coming from a completely different source. Let's close out of our templates manager and I'll point out what is causing this to appear here. It's actually up under extensions and in the module manager. And this will show you that uh, that uh, templates manager, the little control panel that we've been working with, isn't the only way that you can develop this type of content and display on your websites. You can also do it in the module manager and we'll be working with the module manager in tutorials to come down the road. But just to give you an idea that uh, you're not limited to what um, appears in the template manager, you can also create almost any type of display, almost any type of content in the module manager itself. And so if you've got your module manager open, let's uh, maybe first of all change it to display all. And then uh, scroll down and we're looking for a module called stay in touch. Here it is here. And as we examine this module, we see that it is actually a custom HTML that somebody created and included with the sample data here. Now let's just open it up and we'll see that there's not much to it. We can go to the source code, take a brief look at the source code that is in there. And if you decided that you just wanted to work with the information that is here, you could go in and take a look at the source code, simply swap out the Rocket Theme link 
with the link to your organization's Twitter account and Facebook account and YouTube account. And uh, that way you would be able to, to just simply go ahead and use the little HTML module that has been included with the sample data. All right, well, I think that that does it for how to work with the Templates Manager uh, features tab in the Lexicon template from Rocket Theme.